Back here in Pittsburgh, police are now looking for the person who was behind the wheel of a car that hit and killed a local attorney over the weekend in Ross. Amy Wattis is live now. She joins us with this story. Amy. Good evening, Stacey. And police say that victim was coming from the Philly pretzel factory here where his car was parked and headed towards the parking lot of Shenanigans Bar and Grill, which is directly across the street when he was struck by a car while crossing Babcock Boulevard here. Now, that driver of the car took off and police need your help tracking that person down. All eyes are on this car, a 2008 or 2009 Subaru Legacy police believe struck and killed 50-year-old Michael Menner of Glenshaw. The surveillance video captured the car at the intersections of Patrick Place and McKnight and Siebert and McKnight just minutes after the crash happened. Police say the car was heading west on Babcock Boulevard just before 7 last night when Menner was struck. Menner landed on the side of the road and was pronounced dead at the hospital a short time later. The individual was hit with the front of the car, you know, on the passenger side, not just a glancing blow off the passenger side. So it seems likely that they would at least have knowledge that they hit something. Police say Menner was coming from the Philly pretzel factory and headed towards Shenanigans Bar and Grill. Employees at the pretzel factory say Menner is the father of an employee at the restaurant. This is an image from Google of a Subaru legacy that police sent us. However, there should be some significant damage to the front passenger side of that car to include some missing parts around the fog light and uh, adjacent pieces to that. Jamil Goudlock works at a business nearby. He didn't see the crash happen, but has concerns. We see a daily grind for customers who are parking on opposite sides of the street attempting to make it back and forth across um, and take some coordination. Menner was an attorney for Ackman and Associates LLC in Cannonsburg. His colleague Bob Shreve says Menner worked there for almost 20 years and says, quote, we feel a tremendous loss for our colleague and friend. He was a tremendous guy with a great sense of humor. He was a zealous advocate in representation of his clients. Menor, he leaves behind three children. If you have any information on the whereabouts of this car, you're being asked to call Ross Township Police. We're live in Ross Township tonight. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.